Hello and welcome to The Saint Show. So today we're going to talk some transfer news around the socials. We're going to start with Mr Nathan Teller who has been linked all summer with a return back to Burnley after spending last year there on loan in the championship scoring 17 goals and many assists. He's been linked all summer but talks are meant to be ramping up with a bid coming in between the 15 and 20 million mark for Nathan. Would this be a good sign for Burnley? I, obviously it would and I would 100% keep him for the championship for Southampton this season. As you can see, as he done last year, he was good in the championship. So it'd be a great signing for Saints to keep, a great player for Saints to keep, but also a good signing for Burnley. Would he want to go to Burnley? I think he probably would. So it's all down to Saints. I think they put a £20 million price tag on his head. So it's all up to Burnley if they're willing to pay that amount. Staying with Burnley, they've also been linked with Saints striker Che Adams, along with Forrest and Everton, with one year left in his contract. Che Adams looks like he wants to go back to the Prem. He's a, bur- a big, beefy striker, not prolific at all, probably ad- averaging under 10 goals per season at Saints in the Prem. But obviously, I think he would do well in the championship. But with one year left, I think Saints will be looking to sell this summer. And if a £15 million bid bid comes in, as there has been talking about, spoken about, then I think Saints should accept. So Shea Adams looks like he could be leaving the Saints. Next up, we have Romeo Lavia to Liverpool. This one also has been spoken about a lot. All the top teams, Chelsea, Arsenal... A return to Man City, um, but Liverpool seem to be the ones in the seat at the moment. With him apparently having s- talks with uh, Jurgen Klopp already, but I think Liverpool will only put a bid in if they sell one of the number sixes. With Henderson being heavily linked to Saudi Arabia to to be with his former teammate, Mr. Steven Gerrard. That's right. So if Hedison leaves, he will quadruple his wages if he did go to Saudi. So if he leaves, I expect a bid to come in from Liverpool. Saints are looking between the 40 and 60 million pound mark with a big chunk of that going to Man City with a sell-on clause. Uh, apparently, he's already agreed a contract to 2028. So it all goes down if Liverpool sell a number six. Looks looking like Henderson. And if they put that bid in and Saints accept... 40 to 60 mil, I think Saints will accept that and give Lavia his chance to return to the Prem where he belongs. And to finish we with, we have Mr Shea Charles, a new signing for Southampton. There has been talk and it looks like, as I said in my last video, that there is a sell-on and a buyback clause from Man City, which makes total sense. This is the way they ha- are doing their, selling their, their youngsters, and most of them to Southampton, where they put a sell-on and a buyback clause in their contracts. So there you go. Nathan Teller, Shea Adams and Romeo Lavia could be leaving the Saints. All I think should leave. I would give Lavia, I'd love to have Lavia here. No doubts about that. But he's just too good for the championship. And I don't think he will say, stay. Adams with a one year left on his contract. I don't see him signing a new contract. So for 15 million, I'll definitely sell him. Teller, love to keep him as well. After a successful season at championship level being in the team of the year in a championship as well. I'd love to see him stay, but if if Burnley put that 15 to 20 mil bid in, then I think Saints might accept that as well. But that's it from me. This has been the Saints Show, and we are out. Until next time.